What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 6. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock uh, Rakosha mode. Rakosha mode? I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? I'm sorry. Either way, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock it. And if you don't know, it is the highest difficulty in Disgaea 6. Yes, it is above Carnage mode difficulty. And, well, enemies are just a casual 20 times stronger than Carnage mode. Uh, well, that's in terms of, you know, like, level. In terms of stats, they're only a casual 10,000 times stronger. You know, just casually, you know, as, as you do. But, how do we actually unlock it? Well, first things first, you do obviously have to unlock Carnage mode first. Um, I have already made a video on that if you want to take a look. But, long story short, complete the game, complete the side quests, pass a bill, and that will unlock Carnage mode for you. Now, in order to unlock Ruxosha mode you do actually need to clear the carnage dimension here. Now, this automatically unlocks once you unlock carnage mode. There are five stages, however, they are not very easy. For example, if I just go to the, um, the cheat shop real quick and throw on my back to square one. So, right now, I'm on zero star back to square one. I'm going to show you guys the level of stats that you have to go up against in the final stage. So, Carnage 5 is the one that you have to beat, and do keep in mind, guys, that in Carnage mode, your maximum level is 9.9 .9 million, your maximum uh, stat capability on reincarnation is 500. Now, the enemy stats here, as you can see, about 5 billion. So, they're about 5 billion there, uh, their HP is about 5 trillion, and their level is 50, wait, hang on. 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. Yeah, so 5 million. So they are halfway to the maximum level. Now, as soon as we kill these four, however, there are going to be more reinforcements that spawn, even though there is no reinforcement panel. So if I just quickly kill these off right here. So as you can see, enemy reinforcements. This is where things get very, very deadly, okay? So, the reason for that is this little guy down here, the Watcher, he loves inflicting poison on everybody. So, if you only have one unit, you need to make sure you have poison resistance or he's going to absolutely annihilate you. And then you've also got the Carnage Ruler here, the Draconic Demon Lord. This guy hits like a truck and he's also a meat shield. This was not easy at all. Now, when it comes to actually doing this map, I legit had to cheese it. Simply due to the fact I hadn't reincarnated anywhere near enough to do it successfully. So, how did I cheese it? Well, I actually used two witches with Elemental Burst. I gave them both 100 of the Innocent, which protects me against poison, just so I didn't have to worry about the little Mothman. And then, I essentially baited all the mobs together, so I used a couple of sacrificial mobs, just brought them out the base panel and left them there on a turn. All the mobs moved closer, and then I used witches to go out, use elemental burst, and kill as many as I could. At that point, I only had a few left alive, so I just brought out a few more sacrificial mobs to pick the enemies up. And that is how I got through that carnage stage. Granted, you know, you could do a much easier job than me. You know, you could easily get the level 9 million. You could also max out your reincarnation stats at 500 capability. And then, you know, at that point, you should pretty much easily be able to just go in and annihilate it. So, once you actually beat that Carnage 5 stage, you will have a few bills to pass. Now, in order to pass those bills, you go to the Dark Assembly, and unfortunately, I can't show these off because I have already passed these bills. But there will be a few of them to pass. So, there will be one which is, I want to challenge the uh, Ruxosha Dimension. That is the one that gives you the higher difficulty Ruxosha mode. But you also unlock a few other things. And this is going to be the important one. So, when you go to Super Reincarnate, you will also unlock the Level Limit Break 2 and Capability Limit Ruxosha. Now, these are very expensive. You need 20 million Karma for the Level Limit Break. And you also need 100 million for the max capability one. Now, in terms of priority, definitely, definitely, definitely get max level first. Because the higher your level when reincarnating, the more karma you will earn. So by unlocking this first, it means you will unlock the Ruxosha one even quicker. Now, this is going to be really, really important for one simple reason. Enemies in Ruxosha mode, 
their maximum level is the full 99 million. Now, that is... Oh, excuse me. That is a big, big jump from the, you know, the 5 million that we were just fighting in the Carnage mode state. Oh my god, these hiccups. But yeah, that is a full 10 times the maximum level that a Carnage mode enemy can have. It is 20 times more than the stage we just had to do to unlock Rexosha mode. And of course, let's not even talk about Rexosha items because even though they are way, way stronger, the enemies in them are way, way stronger as well. So in order to actually really start making headway in Rexosha, you are going to need these absolutely at a bare, bare minimum. For example, if we take a look at my stats right now, as you can see, my stats are really high. I'm in the trillions. And it's only recently that I've been able to actually make progress in Rexosha. You know, it's like, yeah, I could farm in Rexosha, but I wasn't really able to go into, uh, you know, Rexosha rank 40 items and really make good progress automatically through the Demonic Intelligence. I pretty much had to do Rexosha manually until very, very recently. So do not underestimate these difficulties. Now, even though I've just explained how to unlock Rexosha mode, we're going to look at a few other things as well. Namely, how do you get the stat limit break and the capability limit Yasha? Now, this is effectively the absolute maximum uh, unlock you can get in terms of stats. So, the stat limit break adds a digit to the end. This takes the stat cap from 999 billion and we'll put it at 9 trillion. And then for the capability limit, again, it's set in stone. It increases the maximum capability from 2,000 all the way up to 4,000. Again, really, really important if you want to start making headway in the Ruxosha dimension. Now, in order to unlock those, unfortunately, you do have to complete the new Ruxosha dimension. Now, we've already done Carnage Dimension because that's how we unlock the Ruxosha. Once you complete Rexosha 5, which, by the way, is extraordinarily brutal. Like, if I just uh, load this up really quickly. This, guys, is really, really, really brutal, okay? Now, as you can see straight off the bat, they're all max level. They have about half a billion in stats. And then there's also a war lady here who will use full strike on you. Which means you need incredibly high stats to even survive on the field. Not only that, these enemies love poisoning you. And then of course you do have these two right here, the Twin Moon Knights. That also take 50% less damage from attacks that don't rely on intelligence. And of course Hero Shield when defending protects adjacent allies by taking attacks in their place. And because they're so big, it means they're pretty much always taking attacks into uh, for their allies. Allies. Now, beating these guys is not easy. Again, make sure you use a witch's cheese. Either that or, you know, just brutally overpower yourself first and then come in and you will be able to do it. Now, one of the ways I suggest doing it is, you know, like, let's say Marjolina is just my, uh, my normal witch. Bring a character out, put it at the far back of the arena and end your turn. As long as you can survive the full strike, you are going to be okay. Now, just keep ending your turn at the far back, and eventually they will get closer and closer. Now, you could also use a sacrificial unit here instead of a witch, you know, just in case they do come a little closer and they kill you. Now, as you can see right now, they're all crowded around together. So, what you would essentially do here is you would bring your witch out and use elemental burst, trying to hit as many enemies as possible. So, right here, I would essentially put a witch here where I'm standing, where my little arrow is, and I would have this going down in a line because it would get the twin moon knight and it would get the uh, the cow monster as well now the cow monster is probably going to be the one that kills you most of the time either that or it's going to be the samurai these two right here hit like goddamn trucks they will one shot characters unless you are ridiculously overpowered chances are though you're not going to be if you have not completed this stage yet but first and foremost aim for the twin moon knights you have to kill them first otherwise you're going to have a very very bad time 
Also, once you actually complete that stage, not only do you unlock the two reincarnation bills that I, uh, I just told you about, you will also unlock the ability to unlock a unique Evelty slot for a character as well. And to do that, you just go to a character that hasn't unlocked it, it is 100,000 mana, simply pass that bill and you will be able to use an extra unique Evelty on that character. You don't have to summon these characters when completing the stage, all you have to do is complete that stage once and every character you have and will make in the future will be able to pass that bill. But though guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope it's helped. If it did then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course if you are new to the channel then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And of course everybody as always, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.